Hi, welcome back to the Bag Ladies. We are so excited today to present a new project to you. You know, you've been home, you've probably been, I am so bored, I don't know, out of my mind. So we have been presenting different projects for you to try at home, using everyday things. We like to think of ourselves as bag ladies to the rescue. So the picture kind of depicts that. Today we're gonna to make a brand new project with you, a little bit of a journal and a little bit of a, lots of creating that goes into this because you're gonna use whatever you want to put into it that you can write on, you can sketch on, you can collage on, and here's Cindy to show you some of the things you'll need to get ready to make your journal. So get ready. So to make this um, really cool manila envelope journal, you're going to want to grab a manila envelope. Doesn't really matter the size of the manila envelope, that depends on you. We used a standard size, I believe it was 9 by 12 that fits an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but you could use whatever size you want. This one does not happen to have the brass um, closure on the end. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so you're gonna start with one of these first. Now, you're gonna notice that we jazzed up the cover of this manila folder first. All this is is a piece of artwork that we created using simply some acrylic paint and brushing it across a sheet of paper, using a, a variety of colors and letting it dry. Then we took the piece of artwork that was similar to this and just glued it to the back side or the outside of our cover right in the center. I already have one prepared to show you and it looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna put my journal aside for a minute and I'm gonna share with you how to create this. Now, I'm gonna, this is the outside of my journal cover. I'm gonna flip it over like this and I wanna have the flap on the left. When I go to fold this, I'm gonna have the flap opened and I'm gonna fold it in half like this, lining my fold up to the opening of the manila envelope. I'm gonna press it flat and I'm gonna use my scissors to push the fold flat. I like to do this just to give myself a good clean edge and it will be, make a nice fold to my book. Now here's the fun part to making this journal. Go around your house, collect up all different kinds of paper you might have. I went to my supply closet and I found a few things that I wanted to use. I found some graph paper. I found some handmade paper that had some petals embedded into it that I thought was really cool. And I had, I actually found some lined paper that was in a color rather than just regular notebook paper. And I found a business size envelope. You don't have to use the same materials I use. You could use whatever you want in here. I'm gonna put the envelope on the outside like this and I'm gonna fold the whole stack in half. Yes, I know that this doesn't line up evenly. It doesn't really have to, but you'll notice my envelope is actually folded in half. Now, if I wanna use it as a pocket in my book, here's what I wanna do to the envelope first. See that little flap here? I wanna open it up like this and slit the flap. That way I will make two pockets, one in the front, one in the back, and it will line up with my fold like this. Now I'm gonna place all of this inside my manila envelope and give it a good crease. And then I'm gonna open everything up to my center page, which I believe is my pink sheet of paper. Now I could have added much more paper than this, but I chose to just do this many to show you today. For and it can be any sizes too. Any like sizes. A, a smaller piece, a larger piece, back and forth. Any size as long as it's not bigger than your manila envelope. Right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slit approximately an inch on each end, an inch here and an inch here. You know, you could even use all those crazy advertisements we get and use that as background and paper. And use that as background paper, because some of them are like a little bit of cardboard, and so they'd work well. Now, we're gonna use our standard method of, um, of binding. You can use, e these are really cool. They're large rubber bands you can find in an office supply store. They're actually called file folder rubber bands. I think Karen even found some colorful ones at yep. the dollar store. I love those. So those are really fun to use. Or you can use your stretchy bands like I showed you before, those weaving loops. 
or if you have a really stretchy ponytail band, that would even work too. Today, I'm gonna use the file folder rubber band. All I'm gonna do is take it and slide it over my entire manila envelope, bring it to the center where the slit is, going through the slit like this, and making it kind of even on the front and the back. When I go to close it, I now have this little tab that will secure it closed like this. And there's my journal. Now, you'll see that on this one here that I completed, I actually wrote art journal on the flap and I put art here and the word art across the bottom. If you're not using this for art, you could add other things to it. Now, if you would if you would like to secure this close, you can always find these little Velcro dots. One's fuzzy, one's rough, and you could put a Velcro dot that's sticky on the back and put one here. Now, the easiest way to line this up, instead of trying to stick it here and get it lined up, here's what you wanna do. See my sticky dot here? I'm gonna take it and put the other side here, and now I'm gonna close it, and it will be all lined up and ready to go. So, Karen, what can we put inside this journal besides art? Um, I'm, I'm just thinking that this is a great one to take with you when you're traveling because different things that you see or even if you want to sketch a couple of things because I always think along the art way you know and so but jotting notes to yourself because they fit in your purse so well so I think there's lots of different things that you could use and this this one has a bag in it so you even can slip things in there so um, I, I think people will come up with a million different ways to use these little journals. These are all about different kinds of journaling that you can do. Some people just like to write each day. You know, with this pandemic going right now, they'll write every day what they're doing, you know, where they're going, the things that they've, you know, picked up and thrown in, in there, and even taking little pictures. You know, we've used those little printers um, to taking our photos and putting pictures all over everything also works great. Yeah, if you're not an artist, it'd be a great way to put a little photographs in. Or you could even cut pictures out of a magazine yep. of maybe your favorite things or things that make you happy. Yep, or foods and, we're eating now or, you know, recipes or, or anything. Absolutely. So you can use these little books for absolutely anything. They're fun, they're easy to make, and the best part is they are made with everyday materials anybody can get their hands on. So, so listen, keep watching us and keep looking at our website, which is bagladiesonline.com. Visit us on Facebook at The Bag Ladies for learning. So look up The Bag Ladies and then find The Bag Ladies for number four learning. And you'll see lots more from us. Check us out on YouTube also. We're developing our own YouTube channel with The Bag Ladies. And we're going to continue bringing you these awesome ideas that you can use from anywhere in the classroom to home to, to your office and do all kinds of fun projects. Wouldn't it be great at the holiday time to make each and every person you know something personalized from you? It'd be a lot of fun and enjoyable for everybody. So like us on YouTube. And please don't forget to share us with your friends. Okay. See you soon.